RDS proxy sits between your application and database to efficiently manage DB connections and increase application scalability. How you create RDS proxy, how you connect to database through RDS proxy, we'll see this and much more. So please stay tuned. Welcome guys. I'm in management console and I'm going to RDS service. I just click RDS and it will take you to the home page of RDS service. And there we'll create new database, RDS database. So from databases, you can see there is though no database created so far. So we'll create the new one for this test. Right, so I'll go with MySQL engine. You can choose any engine what you want where the RDS proxy is supported. Then take free tier. Database identifier is default. I can change it to something uh, relevant for this test. RDS proxy demo. So we remember why we created the database and uh, master credentials. Just I'm just giving some uh, sample password, right? Like test one, two, three or something. So you can just do that and everything else pretty much you can keep as is except security group. I'll just show you what about security group, right? So I'm creating new one and just giving that as a name RDS underscore security SG. Yeah, so everything else can stay as is and just create, create database. While our RDS database is getting ready for us, we'll create one EC2 instance which will be working as MySQL client for us. So just go to EC2 service and launch one new instance. Just see that nothing is running there, right? So I'll just go to instance and launch one. Okay, so just give some name to this instance. You can just put anything, but I'll just do EC2 underscore demo underscore server. Everything else you can keep default and it will be part of your free tier except security group. Just go to network setting and change the name of the default security group. And so that we know like which one is associated with our EC2 instance that makes it easy for us to maneuver later. Now port, you keep it as is, which is SSH port and launch instance. So key name is not specified. So just specify one key name. If you want to create new one, you can see that option as well. So I just associate the existing one and launch instance. So instance is launching for us and it just few, few moments and then you will have the instance available. So just wait, I just refresh once again and it should not take much time. It should be fairly quick. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you have your instance available. So connect to the instance using EC2 instance connect. Click on connect. And it is by default EC2 instance connect. So just use it and click on connect again. So you are getting into the server. So just make your server ready, which is like uh, run sudo m update. And you can see that message when you log in. It installed few mandatory packages and then install mysql client so sudo m install mysql yeah it's uh, very quick and then you have your instance available to use as a client for our demo right so let's see whether our rds is available now oh it's still getting ready for us okay so we have other steps to take care so before uh, like uh, we have our instance available right we just finish off a couple of steps so one is like uh, that this is a document which is nicely written so I'll give the link in the documentation like uh, in the description so you can have it and uh, review it once so for now right I'm creating our mysql command and this is a syntax and I'm just directly getting it the, from AWS document itself so it is mysql hyphen h your server name and in this case it is RDS database endpoint. If you go into RDS uh, database, right, you can see the endpoint and just queue that endpoint here. So hyphen H endpoint hyphen P is a port 3306 and hyphen U username. Username will be admin in our case. That's it. So with this, you have your command ready. So once our RDS is available, right, we should be in position to 
connect to uh, from EC2 server. One important thing is you should have an inbound rule in RDS ESG, which is associated with RDS database, right? For resources in EC2 security group, EC2 underscore ESG, to connect to RDS database. So I'll just add inbound rule in RDS ESG, MySQL port, and then to whom you want to give access to EC2 underscore ESG. And our instance is associated with that. Uh, EC2 underscore ESG security group. So that is very important, otherwise you will not be able to connect. So with that is done, let's try our connectivity. Let's give the password and that's it. So good news, we are able to connect to RDS database from our, our EC2 instance. Next is create a secret and this is just a prep for our RDS proxy. So secret manager, you can just go there, click on start a new secret and secret type is credentials for amazon rds database keep it as is just admin and this is our admin password so this is a master user what we created when we created rds so just uh, i'll just keep everything uh, default and then chose rds as the uh, database there whatever we created earlier right rds uh, the proxy demo so secret name, I'll just give something logical, right? Demo slash MySQL. So description, just give some description access. Okay, just keep it as it is. And then click next. Click store. So that's it. So if you refresh now, you can see that secret is created. Okay, and this secret will be associated with proxy. So other thing is proxy should have access to the secret, right? So for that, we'll create a IAM role and policy. And as part of that policy, we'll give access to this uh, secret what we just created. So just go into IAM, create role. And this is for AWS service and AWS service is RDS. Just choose RDS from the list, add role to database. Yeah, so now you need to add permissions to this role. So what we are going to do is we'll add the permission through policy. So let me create a new policy here and the policy description or JSON block, right? You can see it in document, copy it from the document and then we'll just customize it or modify it for our use case. So here, all you need is you need to give access through this policy to uh, secret what we just created. So you should have your own secret ARN here. So you can see the generic access to secret manager in the first block and second block is allowing complete access to this particular resource, which is our secret. So I'll just go to into secrets manager and copy ARN for this particular secret. Just copy the ARN and paste it in our JSON block. Okay, this policy is ready for us. So just copy this policy. Go to IAM, JSON, and just replace this default one with whatever we just copied from Notepad. Okay, so that's it. So your policy is almost ready. So just next, next, review, give some name. I'll just give RDS demo or proxy demo hyphen policy and create policy. Okay, so policy is now created. Go back to your role creation uh, like window, right? where you are creating a role, just go there and associate this policy. If you search and refresh, you should be able to see it. Okay, just click on refresh and you should have it. Okay, there you go. So just associated this, associate this policy with the role. Give some role name. RDS proxy demo hyphen role. And that's it. You can just keep everything as is and then create particular role. Yeah. You can see policy is associated with that. Okay, create role. Yeah, so role is ready. So secret manager is uh, like secret is ready, role is ready, and we are all ready to create a proxy now. Okay, click on create proxy, which is there in RDS. You can see the left uh, left panel, and then proxy identifier. Give some name MySQL, right? Compatibility with uh, MySQL, and then everything else we'll just keep it as is, and then target group. Just add database what we created. So this is our RDS database and you can just 
uh, browse through it right just to see what are the all options we have connection pool we are just creating a connection pool so manage our connectivity to the, to the database right so this i'll just keep it in connectivity is the important section here here we are just associating our secret with the rds proxy so rds proxy has credentials to access the database and then iam role what we created so rds proxy has got these two things secret which has a credential for our admin user and then iam role to have that secret accessible to proxy so here i just choose two subnet and then uh, yeah this subnet is like you can choose more if you want but i just chose two and then uh, security group i'll just use rds underscore sg and i'll remove the default one right so uh, remember we have same security group rds proxy and uh, sorry rds csg associated with proxy and uh, database rds so just create proxy okay so proxy is getting created so just wait for a moment i'll just pause the video and come back so you can see that proxy is created right so just go into proxy and you can see what all is there right so important thing is proxy endpoints by default you get two endpoints one is read only and one is read write so we'll try both whether you can connect and if you uh, see that target group is status is unavailable we'll just come to that why it is so but for now just copy this uh, both of endpoints and prepare our command so command is almost same what we used for uh, uh, in case of rds so just instead of uh, R, like rds endpoint we are giving proxy endpoints okay same thing i'll just do for other endpoint then go to ec2 instance and see whether you can connect now through proxy endpoint okay so proxy endpoint we are giving password test one two three four and then you are not able to connect so error it gives is lots connection to mysql server at reading initial communication packet so something to do with network setting right you can gauge it so let's try with second uh, endpoint right, which is read write endpoint right just try whether you can connect through that yeah so give password and see oh see it is still same so through proxy it's not working that is very clear now so let's see whether our direct rds is still intact or that itself broke okay so i'm connecting to directly to rds with rds endpoint give the password and here you go right you are able to connect through rds but somehow not to a proxy so what is the issue i kept this error for a reason so that i can explain you what is it right so the security group right both uh, like rds and rds proxy has same security group associated with that which is rds underscore esg so what you should do is in that security group add inbound rule so that resources in that security group can access other resources in the same group right so i'll just add rds underscore esg and in inbound rule and the same port mysql port so all the resources in rds underscore esg security group can access other resources in uh, rds security group so that is what is needed and if you see that and this is documented in aws documentation i'll show you that later so you can see that it is working now so let's try other endpoint which is read write and see whether it works yeah so it works so that's good so with this right you are successfully able to connect to rds pro database through rds proxy we checked uh, read only the uh, rds endpoint rds proxy endpoint and read write rds uh, proxy endpoint both connectivity is looking great so yeah so i was just telling you right like i'll show you that security group changes in documentation so just browse through the documentation if you go down right you can just see uh, clearly called out in uh, requirement for security group so up security group section right in proxy setup documentation you can just see that this security group must allow access to the database the proxy connect to right the security group uh, somewhere it clearly mentioned yeah for example suppose that you use the same security group for your database and your proxy in this case make sure that you specify that the resources in the security group can communicate with other resources in the same security group so this is what was missing in the first place 
then we corrected the security group and we are able to connect so i just want to show you this as well okay so with this right we are completed with our demo and i hope you learned something new so make sure you just uh, like uh, delete or clean up this lab because you are paying for uh, proxy i don't think proxy is part of the uh, free tier but uh, just make sure you clean it up at later i'm just showing you that cloud watch that it is showing that uh, if you go into proxy right you can see cloud watch metrics and it's showing the connections so that shows that it is going through proxy just to revalidate or reconfirm what we just did right i'm just showing you oh it's still unavailable right and that was due to that security group so let's see like uh, if i refresh it right it should show it's uh, available so let me just refresh the page itself okay yeah it's available okay now i'm just cleaning up and you also if you are following along with me just please make sure that you are cleaning up the lab because we don't want to pay anything out of our pocket for this uh, learning right so just make sure you do this i am doing that in front of you okay so we have a couple of resources we created right one is rds database then rds proxy then uh, security group iam role and iam policy secret created is secret manager ec2 instance created so this 6 uh, 7 uh, resources we created so just make sure that you clean up everything you delete those so you are not paying for anything so that's it guys like i hope you learned something new and this is a interesting stuff i found it interesting so hope same with you thank you thank you for watching hope you learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comments so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching